welcome, to, welcome. This is Charlie the Wanderer, and today I'm here with my friend Jeff from Us TV 1000. 1000. And we're going to be wandering a little bit around Plainview, Long Island, specifically in New York. And uh, Jeff here is going to talk about what are you going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about a bunch of different things. I really love Charlie's enthusiasm and what he's done with his channel and what he's trying to do with his channel. So I wanted to come out, support him, and let him know that we really appreciate a lot of things that he's doing. Um, I wanted to have a quick conversation about relationships. I know that right now it's really tough uh, as we go from the summer, uh, you know, shout out to the hot girl summer, um, to where now we're going into the fall and then eventually into winter. So we should shout out to the hot girl autumn. Well, no, that's that's the thing, the hot girl. There's no hot girl autumn, but that was very funny. For you viewers at home, I don't know if you caught the joke. He is a master. Let's spin all the way around and give him the view of what we're looking at. Huh? Is that nice? It's for the kids. It's for the kids. We support the kids. Anyway, so in this uh, relationship season where things are going to get a little, you know, a little rough. Remember, um, Thanksgiving's coming, right? Yep, Thanksgiving's coming. And, and normally, right if you're in a relationship, you're going to meet the family. Right? If you're in a relationship. If supposedly you're in a relationship, you're going to be sitting down eating Thanksgiving dinner with the entire family. That's normally when the in introductions happen. If you're not being invited uh, to Thanksgiving dinner, we're going to pretty much say that uh, you're not really in a relationship. I don't know. Back me up on that, Charlie. I would agree with that. I would definitely agree with that. If you're not being invited, if you, she's not taking you home to meet the family, there's nothing there. You're just... Just, now, yeah, could it could it could it be a sad? Fun? But let me ask you a question. Could you it could be, be there for fun. You could be there for fun. But let me ask you a question. Is it really sad? And perhaps that person doesn't have a family and they grew up in a group home. I don't know. That could be different. Possible. That could be. You know, we don't want to. We don't want to go so dark. But I mean, you know, things could happen. But the key is to spread love. That's what Charlie the Wanderer does. He goes around uh, the world. Uh, spreading love and we support that at us tv 1000 we think that's a great thing to do um also i find that right now there are a lot of people who are a little bit confused about what's going on currently in the state of america so you have to understand that and i think it was great when charlie and i became friends um i think one of the amazing things about our friendship was the pure honesty um that we shared so i'm not sure if you've ever said this um publicly um before but I, I want you to announce it on your channel when when charlie met me which was it was how many years ago Charlie? about four years ago okay four years ago um charlie told me that he knew um the origin of man who the original man was um and then he actually had um, some background in studying religion, uh, race, things of that nature. And so when he came humbly um, and respectfully um, and, you know, we, we had dialogue, it was at that moment that I realized that um, he was, in fact, my brother, that despite us not looking alike, um, we share one common goal, which is to better our planet. Um, don't get nervous when you see cars pulling up. Charlie. Yeah, weird, so Charlie's right? the wanderer. And let me just explain what's happening right now on the other side of the camera. Don't show it. It's an elderly man who can't drive. He pulled up right in front of us. And I guess because I'm black and he's white, he wanted to get a really good look. So he's just literally sitting watching us make this video, which of course is amazing. I have no idea why he would do that. So that's why I just gave him it's just, anyway, he's backing up his car. I guess he's parking, but he's really old. And you know what we are going to do for fun? We're going to have Charlie spin around so you can see Grandpa. Go ahead and show everybody Grandpa. Keep going, keep going till you get his face. Did you get him? No, oh, sure, of course. Right there. There you go. He's just sitting there watching us. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, turn it back around, buddy. So um, the, the point that I was trying to get at was that Charlie used humility to build a bridge for our friendship to grow which I thought was great. And so we've been completely honest with each other um, the entire time. And I think that that's great, that people can have honest dialogue um, about the world, about the origin about, of the world, and about people and human beings and what we need and what we want. Um, and I guess something that a lot of people may not know is that I try to minister um, to Charlie um, and kind of intertwine God in his everyday life because I want him to see the value of the divine and it's it's a struggle I'm, I'm gonna admit that you know charlie hasn't really 
um, going full fledged in it. Uh, we even worked out together, right? Because you studied, I, I do judo and martial arts. And I do taekwondo. And he does taekwondo. So we even trained at the park together one time. But trying to get him to get on his knees and pray has been a little tough. You want to tell the people, is there any reason why you uh, fight the... Uh, not really. No, it's just that... Are I, you sensitive to it? Do you not... Do you feel the pain of, of you know, not opening up to it or do you feel like you're closed do you feel like you're not closed and you just don't think it's real you know tell the people no i just uh it's my opinion no we i love have... you and your opinion so that's not what we're talking about i want you to tell the viewers at home i believe i love and believe in god right charlie's my friend whether he believes in god or doesn't believe in god he's still gonna be my friend but for the last four years, he doesn't know it, that I've been secretly dropping seeds all the time, saying things to him, trying to get him to read certain things, and then interacting with his family as a beautiful wife and a loving son. And of course, he is the uh, leader of that family, and I wanted him to stand on God's word, which is what I was trying to push, um, and I've been trying to push. So I apologize if I kind of spun things around a little bit on your show. <laughs> that's okay, that's and, quite all right. You know, made it kind of a you know an interview about you and your religion and, and what you're thinking but i want to kind of get that out because i think it, it will kind of free you so let me ask do you believe that all these things were the all this stuff me you the grass right the kids that were playing back there i think they're still back there right we're all created out of the big bang theory i know it's a popular show i don't like it by the way it's very disrespectful to god but anyway um you know i know a lot of the guys like it out there though but Charlie, what what are your beliefs? I want to hear. Well, I'm not a creationist. Okay, so I'm not a creationist. So I do believe that there's something that did create everything. Okay. But I def I'm, a, I'm not a creationist. I do believe in evolution. Okay, so you believe that we evolved from monkeys? I just want to we evolved from something. Not necessarily monkeys, but definitely something. But why would you? Why would you? think that that's more true than a power so like if you get on your knees i don't know what you know what, charlie for four years has never gotten on his knees once and prayed to god i try to get him to do it it's difficult but if you ever did that and then you actually got a response something happened in your life something amazing something you really if something, if something really happened then i would definitely believe okay so we're gonna do an experiment right now we're gonna do an experiment we're gonna actually say a prayer for charlie um on this show and we're gonna try and, and see, I guess we'll give you a report within a week and be able to tell you um, if what Charlie wanted to happen, in fact happened. And obviously, I thought we and obviously what? what were you gonna say? I thought we were talking about relationships today. Oh yeah, we were, I'm so sorry. I got a little, cause I, I love the guy and I always wanted to get close to God, I'm sorry. So as far as relationships are concerned, right now, wait, let's take a look at Grandpa. Flash real quick. Flash real quick. Flash real quick. Flash real quick. Did you catch him at least? Mm -hmm. oh. For some reason, he felt the need to stand around us. And he's coming back. No, 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 don't go away from him. Get right back on him. That's amazing. What What could possibly be your reasoning for going back? What could be so compelling? Staring. No, I'm just trying to get it. I want to get it on film. Because this is what we were talking about when I said a level of racism in Long Island that isn't seen anywhere else. No one believes me. But I said, if we have a camera and you could see everyday stuff happening all the time constantly, I think it would be, you know, helpful. But anyway, back to relationships. So love is love. Um, I think you need to respect your partners. Um, and I just I just know as, as we transition from the warmer weather where a lot of people are having fun, let's call it that, um, they're not really um, trying to build any type of foundational relationship. And then you have people that have been, you know, married for 10, 20 years. You've been married for like, what, 11? Um, about 18 years. 18, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect years. you it's and okay. the missus. No, that's that's a long time. That's, uh, You've been married yourself? Um, Yes, I have. And I believe that marriage is very important. And I believe that raising a family is very important. And I believe that love and support and caring. And, and Charlie and I were talking um, in the park earlier about, um, I, there's a Jada Kiss song that I'm listening to right now. I like to pull out um, old um, albums. So I have The Last Kiss is the third installment from Jada Kiss's independent solo projects. And on the album, on track 12, is a song um, where he describes a child, a little girl, um, being molested by her stepfather um, and then how her life turns out. Um, and I thought that was an incredible um, song. And, you know, obviously to get support from a rapper when it comes to molestation and um, 
pedophilia and children being molested. I wanted to kind of talk about that. So I'm sorry that no, I got let's off talk on about that. Let's talk about that because I'm that's sorry I got that, off on the tangent. That's something that's prevalent in our society right now. Well, that upsets me, and you know, I'd love to do a feature film of a group of guys like us. You know, all different types of guys that go out and you know handle those type of situations. I think that there's not really, despite, you know, people yelling out about Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and the calling of social media, there's no real social awareness. So people that live near each other still don't even know each other. Neighbors, people that are across the street. When someone moves in, nobody comes to greet them and say, hey, welcome to the neighborhood. These are the things that, that, that we have to start doing again. So when they talk about making something great again and doing this and doing that, let's go back to humanity and being human beings and loving each other, protecting each other, and helping each other. I think that, you know, we should try and get uh, women uh, arms licenses so they can carry. There's no reason for you to be trying to fight some guy off in a parking lot, to be honest with you. And I think that, you know, churches, especially black churches, not getting licenses for guns. A guy came into the church with you, prayed with you, and then shot you to death. I don't know, that motivates me to get a gun. I don't know about everybody else, but I think that when we look at the world in terms of what's right and wrong, people are trying to mix the colors and you know make this weird gray. No, there's right and there's wrong. That's it. There is no gray. I'm sorry, your thoughts? I don't want no, to I'm just... take up the whole show, bro. No, you I know, want you to. Well, I appreciate that, but I'm just saying that I think that's important. And I wanted to get on relationships only because the seasons are changing. It's, you know, going from really hot to um, kind of cool. But you're touching some deep stuff today. Well, we're, you know, I, I, I think what's interesting is that when you look at the world, right, and even like take prison, for example, right, in jail. Pedophilia is not something that's celebrated in prison. Um, so it's like, there's, there's at least a code in something. Like right now, people are talking about um, the rapper, um, Takashi 6 9 and the fact that, you know, he's a snitch, and, you know, the fact that he, you know, spoke and told uh, the federal government about, you know, all the dealings that he was in. That's the whole point. If you break the rules to anything that you do, there are rules to everything. And, and what we're learning as we get older is there are rules to life. I told my son, I gave him an example. I said, if I walk across the street with my eyes closed, what's the probability I'll get hit by a car? It's very high, it's very high, it's very high. If I have unprotected sex with prostitutes, those are sex workers, that's what they do for a living. What's the probability I'm gonna get sexual transmitted disease? It's very high. Once you start to look at life that way, very um, old African, saying, which is, the youth can run fast down the road, but it's the elders that know the road. I know where the potholes are. I know where the guy is hiding behind the trash can to rob you. Working together, come in the shop, buddy. Working together as a team. That's what we're about at Us TV 1000, and, and hopefully, and, and no, most certainly, that's what Charlie's about on Charlie and the Wanderer. So he's gonna be giving exclusive. I wanna take you guys down to Wall Street, so hopefully at some point we'll be able to do that show. Oh, we're doing and that. And I show you the underground Wall Street. Not the stuff that everyone else sees, but what the brokers are actually doing, because I was on Wall Street for 15 years. So, so we're definitely doing that. Okay, thank that's you, that's I appreciate definitely, that. We're definitely doing that. Well, I want you to show these guys, you know, a bit of life where, you know, it looks like a pizzeria, and it's actually a strip club. So not, every, so not everything on the channel is going to be... <laughs> no, I'm just saying. That, and that's an episode that Joey will not be a part of. Just, just so wow. Know. You know what? Joey we're, will not be a part gonna, of that We're going to edit it so it won't be anything. But know, it'll still be family friendly. So absolutely. don't worry about that. Like, absolutely. Like everything else absolutely. on the channel. Absolutely. Absolutely. Family family family. So I want to salute uh, Charlie for doing a, a wonderful uh, show and wandering with the people at home, getting them out to all these different events to see things, um, and also bringing you exclusive footage where you, you know, get real dialogue talking to real people so that's, that's i think that's about to wrap for this episode oh you're wrapping me up i'm wrapping it up all right wrapping so it up thank you only again got a few minutes, a few thank you left. again continue to follow this man and continue to wander and uh that's we're gonna wander off now all right let's go let's go wait 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 catch grams in the shot real quick
put grams in a shot. He came back and go see his car. Did you get him? There he is. Huh? Did you get him? No? Did you get him in the shot? Yes, I'm not. Okay, wonderful. That's grams. All right, that's a wrap. Five.